Liberty. Hi, thank you very much for being here. It's great to see you guys. Before we begin, uh, the guy who made this happen, Rodman Flender. Let's hear it for Rodman Flender. He's a huge pain in the ass to me. Follow me everywhere. That's right. Uh, I followed you everywhere. And, yes. And when I wasn't following you, you were, I just learned you were running away from me. You were hiding I from hid me. from Rodman for, who the hell are you? <laughs> you think you are? This is my theater. This is my theater and I better assert control. You're on thin ice with me now. Uh, yeah, I hid from you for uh, I, many times. I would right. see you coming on this tour and I would duck behind. And I would just hide and then I would see you like a shark going past with your camera. Uh, I feared you. And it was difficult. I was trying to keep up with the kind of thing you were just doing with this gentleman right here. It was a very difficult, challenging thing to do. But, uh, but here it is. So here thank is. you, Conan O'Brien. Thank you very much. <laughs> this guy right here, he seems angry. He's got a point of view. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, see, you may do whatever you want. <laughs> if you're, are you okay with him standing? <laughs> Why don't you crouch? <laughs> You're the region, man. So, I enjoyed seeing sort of the warts and all. Mm -hmm. you know, when you go look at that footage, do you, um, do you see yourself as angrier as, than you are now? Or do you see yourself as angrier than you are now? Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Am I stupid? <laughs> What do you mean? Help me, Rodman. Um, yes, I, I do think I was in a different, uh, I'm in a heightened state when this movie was made. Uh, one of the things that I will credit Rodman for is the idea came along to maybe document what I was about to go through. And uh, one of the first, and I don't want to get in trouble for saying this, but one of the things, Rodman came over to my house and he said, to his credit, he said, uh, I mean, because I think there are a lot of people that would have just jumped at this because it was a big story and why not? Let's just do it. And Rodman said, I'm not going to do it unless I can make uh, a very honest portrayal of what's happening. He said, I don't want to make rattle and hum. Um, I don't want to make, and I'm not putting down rattle, but it's a, that deified a, uh, a tour. And he wanted to make something that showed really what was happening emotionally. And we were sitting in my very modest home, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and I said, yeah, I'm okay with that, I'm okay with, I've been through a lot of shit in my career, and I'm okay with people seeing whatever there is to see, if that can, uh, you know, I, I just, it felt to me very much like the truth would uh, would be very helpful, so Rodman did that, uh, and, I, and he took an accurate portrayal of what was happening to me during that tour. I think I'm in some places that was over a year ago. Yeah, that was over a year ago. And um, I'm highly medicated now. Uh, but, uh, woo! He's <laughs> got the Lipitor shirt. It's not the medication I was talking about. He's lowered his cholesterol. No, I'm, uh, I'm in a different place. I, I, I went through it. I. Uh, but at the time, I was very confused and probably angry about some things, and uh, and the tour was fueled a lot by my survival instinct and by a lot of things I was going through. And so, to Rodman's credit, uh, he captured that I think very well, and uh, and so that is not I don't think the way I mean I don't even know if I could do that right now. I mean, there's sometimes where I look at myself playing the guitar and I think I don't even know those chords. I don't know what was happening, but I was fueled by something else, so I'm not sure I'm in the same place anymore, and thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Over there, yes? Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, I had a question. Why did you go with the delirious, or the raw jacket rather than the delirious? It's a good question. <laughs> delirious, I believe, is the all red. Oh, okay. Which, yeah, the all red one, yeah. Okay, let me tell you exactly what happened. There were two Eddie Murphy uh, stand-up movies. In one, he's wearing a bright red leather skin-tight outfit. And in the second one, I believe, he's wearing a the blue paisley. You're kidding. <laughs> I'm fucking kidding. I hugged you. I hugged you. I hugged you. You could sell that hug on eBay. Um... 
So this is just how show business works, and I'll tell you very honestly how it works, which is I thought when I had the idea for doing that bit, I was imagining the red outfit. The person watched the other movie, <laughs> showed up and made the Paisley outfit, but we had paid for it. That's how show business works. I said, screw it, it's the other one, and I had a bunch of people saying, it's not the red one, and I was like, shut up. <laughs> still on my Irish body, comical. And what's interesting about that outfit is as the tour progressed, I kept losing and losing weight. And by the end, I mean, in the early scene where uh, I'm in my house and they're fitting me, it's very like form fitting. And by the end of the tour, it's hanging off of me. It was baggy. Oh, it's like a bandit. Baggy, but I've got stuff to fill it out as well.